Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Ellipse by Maxime Elliot. Before I do this, can you please like and subscribe, the usual stuff, but the very important bit is go and have a look after this at onlinemagic.co. That's my online membership site. It's been going for 10 years and there are over 800 videos, live sessions every week uploaded with special guests as well. So go and have a look at that. If you like this, you will love that. And it's only 9 99 a month, which is less than a coffee a week and all downloadable and you can cancel any time. Right. Uh, another app and this is something that I'm genuinely using quite a lot now. And uh, I'm thinking of putting in my show, if not definitely my close up and uh, Ampala. It's the, the method is the, sorry, the effect is that, well, there's kind of many ways of doing it, but the basic for one of the better works, it's not basic, it's amazing. Uh, you say to someone, go on genius.com. So genius is the, you know, the, the famous lyrics, song lyrics website. Uh, with articles on as well, search for any song you like, search your favorite song, this is on their phone, and you can tell them what they have searched at its most basic form. So you've searched this song by this artist. What you can also do, which is the, the main kind of effect, is take it a step further, and they can look at the lyrics of that song, and they can choose one word from that lyric. So not only do you have the artist, the song, you also have this word that they've chosen, and there are they can just look at it and you go through a process that they don't know you're doing to get the word or they can highlight the word on their phone. Just search for your favorite song or a song that comes to mind. And then it should open up with different options. Different yeah, versions of that song, list of search results. Yeah, go, go, for, go for the one you want. And what I want you to do is go down and think of a lyric, try and find a lyric, one word, and if there's an audience there, I'd say highlight it and show it around. But just highlight it so you don't forget it. Just the, the word, anywhere, interesting word, not and or the, but from the, um, from the song. Okay. Got it? Yep. All right. So uh, make sure you, you, you can put your phone down if you want. Um, so I want you to think about the song. Yep. And think about, um, is, it, is it a song that you still listen to? Or is it, is it a favourite song? Or is it, uh, is it, it one? It was one that jumped to mind, but it's a classic. All right. The Guns N' Roses. Is it Welcome to the Jungle? Yeah. And the, the word that you highlighted um, is jungle. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Thanks, <Yeah. Nick. laughs> Thank you very much. That's, uh... yeah, okay. That's... <laughs> <laughs> the first time I saw this, I was talking to, um, talking about glyphs with Mustafa, uh, the creator of glyphs, which is the, the, uh, the printer that I've I've uh, reviewed, and by the way, we're doing apps and printers and stuff like that, so this isn't going to be shared on non-magicians' uh, Facebook pages, just so you know. So please don't, don't do the same. Uh, please do the same. So, and what Mustafa did over Zoom was he sent me a link and go open the link, that takes you to Genius. I went to a song, a David Bowie song, because I love Bowie, highlighted the lyric, and he showed me a piece of paper undid the piece of paper and handwritten was the lyric, which is incredible. You can also do that incidentally if you want to use glyphs or other apps, you can get the lyric printed out or you can get the song or the song or the artist and you can kind of customize all that and it's very, very simple to do. So it happens on their phone. There are methods where you can take their phone off them first of all, which is completely covered. There's a lot of and I've been there before with apps now. I go, oh no, if I touch their phone, people are going to be suspicious. Of course they're not. When you understand how these things work, nobody's going to be suspicious because it's completely natural that you might take the phone off them. And I've been doing the same with Wikitest recently, actually. You know, it's so beautiful that it is all hands off. And yes, great. But if you, you want to be super safe, it's totally justified to take it off and go, let's just make this quicker. But you can watch me do it and you go, boom, and you go, you do it in front of them and that's totally fine. That's the kind of... I think the way that I'm going more and more now, if I can, is just make it super safe. But saying that, if you don't do it, and even if you want to do it remotely, uh, Maxim has built in ways of doing that. And all of them are good. There's no weak way of doing it. When you connect in the way you need to, they're all justified, justified and they all kind of work. So you are gathering your information 
their song lyric in various different ways. Many of them are using your phone. Now, again, you can be safe by having your phone in your hand very openly and there are ways built in with that and justifications so there's a stopwatch you're looking at a stopwatch going right let's see how fast i can do this totally justified there's a calculator mode there's an earpiece where you don't have to get your phone involved at all and then there are as i've mentioned the other apps so if you use glyphs you don't have to do anything really much on the Ellipse app itself, and you can then send it to the stranger, which I've reviewed before, many of you will know the stranger, so you then phone someone and they say the word, and inject, and all those things. So, so I've had to cut this in, because since recording the review, I've now performed this um, with the Peaksmith 3, which means I haven't had to get my phone involved at all. So that means I, as long as I can see my Picksmith, I can do this without getting my phone out at all. But that just works beautifully. And the thing with that, you can just keep repeating it. Not that you want to, but you can, you, if, if something goes wrong, you can just say, do it again. And as long as everything's connected, it's totally fine. So that's amazing. And one more thing is that I will put the footage on. The footage is, isn't very good because I didn't have my camera, the SD card for my decent camera, but you'll get the idea. This is available, which I didn't mention in the original review, for iOS and Android, so it works on both. And it also works so if someone's got an Android phone, and I've also tried it with people doing it on their computer, and that also works, so uh, it's all good. It works great, it's very, very strong, but the important thing that I get often is, is it easy? Is it easy to set up? Are there hundreds of settings to get involved with? And does it ever fail? I've done this a lot now, and I haven't got footage yet. I might get for this review, but if not, I'll try and get it in another way. It's not failed once. It's not failed with glyphs once I've set it up. It did a couple of times because I'd set it up wrong, not because it didn't work. The way it all works is really robust, and there are different ways. So they can highlight the lyric. Now, people say, well, that seems a bit weird. Of course it doesn't. You're highlighting the the song lyric so you can show it around so people can see it straight away and remember it. So highlight it so you can show it around rather than point it because I might see where you're pointing, etc. Any of that kind of stuff. But it completely flies. There's been zero suspicion when I've done that. But if you don't want to do that, you can say just think of a word and there's a process you can go through, which again is very, very justified and easy for them. And they don't know you're doing the process, by the way. You're just saying, well, think of a word, has it got an E in it? You go through a couple of letters and you get the word. It's incredible. And they haven't even highlighted anything. You can also use a remote. So if you've got your Nexus remote or the Versa 2, which I have at the moment, which I'm going to review soon, you can use a remote. So all the integrations, everything is super easy. And importantly, the settings are minimal. There isn't hundreds of settings. He goes through them very, very clearly. And my feeling is that Many of you, most of you, even if you're not very techy, are going to be up and running with this very, very quickly. I love the fact that if you want to use your phone to get the information, you've got it in your hand, you haven't got to pretend it's down there, even though you can do that if you want. And there are all these different ways of gathering the information. And there is also something about music. When I did it, when you're connecting with the music that people love, it's really powerful. I really, really think that. So, oh, sorry, I thought I wasn't um, connected there. Uh, um, and when, you know, when you think about your favourite song or a song that has memories for you, so you can go down that route of creating a memory around that song. And I think it's wonderful. And, and I, you know, music is something that we all, most of us are genuinely interested in. So rather than do a, an effect where it's, yeah, it's amazing, but it might not be connected to you in that way. This is a really good way of connecting with people. I've seen footage of so many people doing this. And there is footage on the, on the instructions of people doing it on TV and... I just have complete faith in this app now, and that's what people want to know. Is it going to fail on me? Is it going to work every time? And you know, don't blame me if it doesn't one time or another, but that'll be because of, you know, an internet connection. But it's just, it's solid as you like, and I love it. I think it's a really, really strong piece of work. Maxim was at Blackpool demonstrating it, and now people are starting to realise how strong this is. And again, with the integrations, great, but you really, really don't need them. You can do it all just with the app, and you'll be completely blowing people away. It's great. So there's way more uh, to this as well. I don't want to go on forever about it. I don't want to give you all the little details, but that's the main thing that there's a, you know, if you, the calculator mode's great. You can, it creates a number that if you write it upside down, you've cryptex by Haim, 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 oh, sorry, Goldenberg. Um, I always get Haim or Haim or Haim mixed up. Uh, you can use that, which I think adds another element to it, which is, which is great as well. 
Okay, so that is Ellipse, E-L-I-P-S, Ellipse by Maxim Elie. A couple of things I didn't mention very quickly, um, and importantly, I, I can't remember if I mentioned uh, whether you can perform it totally remotely on Zoom. You can do that. There's a really good way of doing that. But also, it's not available at the App Store. I did say it in review. I'm not sure whether I cut it out or not, but it's not available at the App Store. It's through the links, which will be below. Uh, there's loads more to say about it, loads more apps it integrates with, uh, Flitch and Mental Play and uh, Hydra, things like that. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that's it. All right, I'll go now. Do ask any questions below. And, uh, and I think that's everything. Like and subscribe. Now off you go. Have a look at onlinemagic.co and peruse the information. Take care.